you, you talked awesome. about doing this at 15. Uh, we just did a video 20 years ago. At the age of 15, you were doing like jackass skits and stuff like that. Can we talk about making the video? Oh, yeah, yeah. we did just release yeah. a video. Oh, yeah, hard segue. There you go. But I like that video. It was, it was, yeah. I was pleasantly surprised. I think that video hits every beat of like classic Mega 64 stuff. Yeah, so like I. Out in public skit. It, that video, I w before it was edited, I said like I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but like I had fun filming every section of this video. I had fun doing all of it, so like it was a it was just a fun time. So I really enjoyed it. Meg, you killed it. Thank you. Good oh job, yeah, Meg. Meg was in it. Thank yeah. you. Good job. <clears throat> Going to recreate the '90s <laughs> stuff was so much fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was just a fun time. Just like I already knew, I had this burned uh memory in my mind i can never forget the jackbutt footage i captured for rocco for something i forget what it was version yeah. what what did we put that in we well, yeah, did like a vhs of your high school videos too yeah, yeah we all brought we all brought some stuff for, i think it was the, for a time time DVD, dvds that's time. what it was and i helped him uh it was like one of the rare times i helped him uh capture some footage with my vhs and i captured all your stuff and yeah. like it, 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 I thought like this video is giving me this view of what I know as reference before, and then I was so glad they they showed the uh, footage on the screen. Yeah, yeah original Jack, but um, yeah. The for me, there's a, a joke in the video that I regret, and it's the very last joke of the video where we kill Meg for saying yeah. the G word. Yeah. Do yeah. you hate the joke or killing me? What are we regretting? I don't regret either of those things, oh, okay. actually. But well, I regret the joke because so many comments on YouTube just called the video gay. Yeah. Oh, and that. I even see it in the chat right now. And that shit is so fucking lame. Like it really made me cringe. It was this moment of ah, yeah, monkey see, monkey do. Mm. You know, uh, like okay. I feel like we were okay to make the joke because we're funny and oh. we're comedians well we set up a whole premise yeah for and we built a whole video that led to that punchline but then people just watch the video and that's their comment and i just feel like well you're lazy i mean you're just saying this word now but you're really not earning the the comedy points to make this comment and it bummed me out a little bit, you know. Mm. It made me feel like, oh, this is why this is this is why we can't say these words anymore. We can't say nice things because people fun. are so easily just influenced. Like, ah, yeah, they said it. I could say it too, <laughs> <laughs> and that's just not how it works. Mm. Uh, it really gave me this moment of pause of like, oh, maybe we need to be uh, more careful with the stuff we say. I really, I did love the joke of "Don't worry, she's dead," or "Don't worry." <laughs> yeah, is that what it is? "Don't worry, she's dead." I like that. Uh, you wrote it, man. I don't know. You tell me. I didn't write that part. That was Rocco. Um, I really uh, also when we were doing the Gex thing, I I never played Gex. I didn't know what to do. With, it was such you a nailed weird, it. You nailed oh, it. I felt like I nailed, <laughs> it. nailed it. I you couldn't. That was the worst fucking mask of all time. You couldn't yeah. see shit out of it. Like at one point, like a guy's like asking for a high five as walking right past him. I legitimately had no idea. I couldn't see shit. <laughs> I had no idea. Um, but yeah, that uh, that costume sucked. The basketball thing was stupid. Like <laughs> the whole thing was fucking. But it was all fun. Like it was all fun to do. So, uh, yeah. People in the chat are uh, once again misconstruing what I said. I'm not saying fuck the fans, and I'm not saying that joke was bad. I'm just saying when you make that joke, it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not yeah. saying fuck you. I'm just saying. I'm just saying maybe uh, you're not funny enough to pull off that joke. You can't just <laughs> say that word and and put yourself on the same fucking level as us. That's not how it works. We can't kill you. Yeah, yeah. we can't put a gun in your face <laughs> oh. and pull the trigger. See, see, you're missing the follow-up. You're only saying the setup. You're not doing the punchline. Anyways. Uh, yeah, the Gex thing, I wasn't there for. Yeah. But I edited it together, and I thought it was uh, it was good. That guy trying to get a high five was originally not in it, and I was right. amazed. I was like, this is the funniest part. This dude <laughs> right. trying to get a high five. Yeah. Didn't I? Again, I didn't even know. Uh, I think people, Kevin, you were there. People were they watching me? I had no idea. I didn't know there was anyone even in the vicinity. Like all I could see, see was like this little hole. <laughs> Anything. Huh? I could barely breathe, and there's I guess, I guess you know in a mask, all you do is hear your own breathing. Ugh. So all I heard was <laughs> Darth Vader. Yeah, and it's like I can't see shit, hear shit. I'm just it's going your for body it. position is so like coy like fuck you you're just, just the way you're standing is so, <laughs> so like, like yeah. ooh, look at me ooh, i'm gex i'm hiding 
<laughs> it's like the Deadpool yeah, thing again. The Deadpool. Exactly. Yeah, you were channeling yeah. Deadpool. Yeah, totally. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I think the Gex part was funny. I really like the James Bond part. Yeah. James Bond, we can, we know you're in there. We can smell you shit. Yeah. I feel like that was, um, for me, the <laughs> most nostalgic of all, like the, our old humor, you know, from like, high school. well, a lot of the stuff we referenced in the nineties part, like princess Diana dying. I remember where that happened, but I didn't, it, the enormity of the, like the historical implications yeah. of that were lost on me sure. when I was a kid. But Goldeneye on N64, <laughs> that was like my life. You know, yeah. all my friends were playing that. So to recreate that, be in the bathroom, have the music playing, I was like, we're nailing the 90s, dude. <laughs> in that shot, James Bond, you see his hand, he's wearing a big puffy glove. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because Sean had already put the Gex costume on and it's yeah. like, we're not filming Gex right now. And it's like, well, <sighs> do I have to change out of this costume? <laughs> yeah. like, well, your hand is green. James Bond doesn't have a green hand. Yeah, let's put the glove on. I'll just on. put this big puffy glove on. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah, that should do it. So I'm, yeah, I'm in the same fucking stupid costume, but it's such a pain in the ass to get on. I was like, I don't, I don't want to take this off and put it back on like an hour later. I'm just gonna keep it on. So yeah, that's a weird yeah, thing. and uh, Rocco as as uh, Mike Myers. Uh, <laughs> that really uh, got God. me. Like... Fuck, what's his name? Austin, Austin Powers. Powers. <laughs> that was so good. Rocco did not want to put Austin Powers in the video. Why? He was like, are you fucking serious? Like, <laughs> he thought it was, I guess, low-hanging fruit. I don't it, want to uh, speak for him. Yeah, Who, but I don't know. It's been so long. Well, it was the know. thing where it's like, it's it was so on the nose of like friends <laughs> and like, these things, Bill Clinton, it's like, the, you cringe thinking about it, but that was the whole point, was to make the latest yeah. thing possible. Yeah, but <laughs> it actually, we found out, of 90s. Um, so we did Bill Clinton, and we got a Bill Clinton rubber mask, and I thought we could just get an Austin Powers rubber mask, like they use in Baby Driver. That thing does not exist. Yeah. Ooh, really? I don't know where they got that Baby Driver mask. There is no such thing as an Austin Powers <laughs> latex mask. Yeah. Excuse me. I had to At least not anymore. No, I they, it's just there. I, I, we could not find one for sale. The only thing we could find was the teeth oh, and yeah. like the glasses. They sell Austin Powers costumes, but it's like a wig and teeth and glasses. Right. So that's what we got for Rocco, and, and it we, looked so <laughs> shitty. <laughs> It was hilarious. It was, but the very favorite part though was Rocco took off his actual glasses, put those glasses. On. I'm like, that made it better. <laughs> <laughs> All you need is the dialogue, though, yeah. and you know who that it is. changed everything. Um, yeah, and we didn't have like the right shirts. We put on this weird sequencing because we couldn't find it. <laughs> it was perfect. It yeah. was fun. It was, it was a all kinds of different stuff. It, it was, was it was a lot of fun. The, um, the movie theater kept getting confused, so we kept walking through doing yeah. the different lines. <laughs> Yeah, we went to the movie theater and we're like, let's let's have a lot of shots of us walking out of the movie theater like we just saw classic 90s movies. Titanic, uh, Liar Liar. We did Air Force One. Yeah. We did a couple that didn't end up in the video. So we went to the movie theater and, you know, they have the ticket booth in front and then you go inside and there's a guy who takes your ticket. Yeah. Well, we would just go inside and then turn around and walk back out the doors. Uh, and I think Meg, you were filming that. Yeah, so Meg is just standing at the doors filming them and we're just walking in this big circle. And they keep running from the concession stand to the ticket booth. Like, they're coming in. Oh, no, they're leaving. Okay, I'm going back to the concession <laughs> Hold on, they're coming back in. Oh, <laughs> God damn it. They walked outside again. I'm going back to the... They fucking came back. I, I saw this guy, like, coming back and forth. And finally, I was like, I think we better get out of here because this dude's going to kick our ass. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that was the 90s video. Meg, you were in it. Yeah, it was fun. We were going to give you more lines, but then we thought, no. No, I this. liked that I was just there because people are like, well, what's the point? And that's. And then you see at the end. Find exactly. out. Exactly. See it at the end. Yeah. yeah. It, like almost famous. Another 90s reference. <clears throat> well, 2000. So close. There's the one character in Almost Famous who doesn't speak for the whole movie. He has one line. At the very end. It's on the plane crash scene, right? When the plane crashes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Great movie. Uh, is that going to actually. You know, that's one of those movies that I, like I watched it. a shitload yeah, it's when good. I was younger. Yeah. But like, it's been so long that like. My tastes have changed so much, but I still like that movie. Because it had nudity so. in it? Philip Seymour Hoffman's in it. Is there it? nudity yeah. in that movie? I don't think your tastes have changed that much. No? I don't think you wouldn't like Almost Famous now. Okay. I've never seen that movie. Dude, that's, oh, that's good. It's also where Mark Maron pulls the lock the gates at the very start of his podcast. Mark Maron's in that movie, too. Oh, really? It's a good, so Hoffman's in it. It's fucking it's, Yeah, it's I remember it being cool. really good. I haven't seen it in a long time. <laughs> 